Hello friends, welcome back. I just wanted to jump on here really quick and show you something I got in the mail because I had ordered some of these maybe just, maybe about a month ago. Do you remember when I showed you that I got three other fragrances? I actually have them right here. Um, I ordered two more. So, and actually, to be honest, I have a couple more on the way. I, I have been wearing these. Actually, my favorite of them is the Aquatic Peony. And you can see that it has less in it. <laughs> I love this one. And I mean, I love all of them, but this one just happens to be my favorite. But they all last all day. And the silage, the compliments that I get, even with masks on, so that's, that says a lot to me. So I ended up ordering a couple more and I wanted to show them to you. So just a real quick recap for those that maybe didn't see the first video. And I'll try to put the link, um, maybe I'll just put a card up above so you can just click on it when you see. Um, but just a quick recap, when you order your fragrance, it comes in a cute little box. I love this because other like designer fragrances, when you get them, they are in a little cardboard box, but they're just a plain little box. This one, I like how it opens. I like how you can see everything in it. And there's a little place for your fragrance to sit in. So that way, I, I've actually been keeping all my little boxes because they're really handy when traveling if I want to take my full bottle, although they do come with the little fragrance sample, but I've actually been handing these out to other people so they can try them. Um, but you could put this in your purse and have, you know, this just be your freshen up during the day if you need to. I actually haven't needed to, and that's why I've handed them out as gifts to other people for them to try. But Dossier wants you to try the little one. And if you don't love it, send the big bottle back. You have 30 days to decide if you like it or not. And you get a full refund, no questions asked. Or you can just choose another fragrance instead and they'll send you that in replacement. So I love that. Um, it's a risk-free type of way to try a designer fragrance and if you don't love it, you can take it back. And it's and it's not costing you a fortune to do it. So that's why I've ordered more. I love the price. I love the quality. So this one, and just real quick, it's uh, vegan and cruelty free and clean ingredients. I like that. This is called Floral Peony. And it is inspired by Chloe's Chloe. I had to have this one. I love, I love that scent and spring is almost here. Actually, yesterday my husband was outside all day doing yard work, um, transplanting stuff. It's the perfect time of year. Everything's getting buds on it. It's only January. Anyway, I wanted a spring fragrance and to me, this is springtime. That's why I wanted this one. It is, uh, well, I'll just tell you the top notes. In case you've never smelled Chloe's, Chloe, it is, the top notes are peony, lychee, lily, rose, magnolia, and freesia are the middle notes. The base notes are musk, cedarwood, and honey. And this is a 13% concentration. So that tells you that this is going to last. Um, I've worn this a couple of times already and I absolutely love this. And actually, these two, the Aquatic Peony and the Floral Peony, smell so amazing together. I've mixed those together. It just smells so heavenly. It is springtime in a bottle. I'm not kidding. It's so beautiful. The notes that really jump out to me, now everybody's, everybody's sense of smell is different and everybody's likes and dislikes are different. So, you know, I would definitely say 
um, if you're willing to blind buy something and just kind of go off of the notes that that maybe you know which notes you generally lean towards. I did order a, a, two of the next two that I've ordered are both blind buys. I've never smelled the original that they're inspired by, so I'm excited to get those. It's the peony and honey. Even though the honey is a base note, it is just such a, a beautiful, uh, Lily is in the top notes, but I don't detect, and lilies are my favorite, uh, stargazer lilies are my favorite flower, and that has its own unique scent, and I don't detect lilies in here, but it's the, it's the peony, slight, kind of like a magnolia rose, and honey. It's just so light and airy and springtime. Like I said, it's spring in a bottle. I love how it smells. And the the atomizer, I don't know if I talked about that last time. Look at that. It's just so perfect. It gives you the perfect amount every time. So when you smell when you spray it on your skin, it has uh gosh, I'm like looking at the notes. What is that I'm detecting? I don't detect that just smelling the bottle i i don't detect it here but on my skin or it's the freesia that's what it is because i have tried this that actually dries down and i don't smell freesia that kind of a, a little bit of a strong scent during the day two the two main notes that i really detect is the peony and the honey with a little bit of a magnolia rose. It just smells like such just a beautiful spring bouquet of peonies. That's what it smells like. And you know, as I showed you last time, the cap is magnetic. I love that so much. I have actually found myself when I've used one of my other fragrances that are not Dossier, I find myself feeling a little irritated. I don't know if that's the right word. It's not a full irritation, but um, I guess maybe just a little bothered that I, I have to push the cap all the way down. I'm so used to just throwing it on there and it just attaches itself. So that is so, so nice. This is my spring bouquet in a bottle. I am loving this one so much. And I'm so happy that I ordered that. So I was feeling a little bit selfish <laughs> and I wanted to order something for my husband as well. So, and the, the next order that I have placed, I have one for my husband and one for me. So this one is Woody Sea Sage and it's inspired by Joe Malone's Wood Sage and sea salt. It is amazing. The top notes are fig tree and grapefruit and the middle notes are marine notes, ambrette. The base notes are clary sage and amber wood. So usually if something has grapefruit in the top notes, I love it. It's not a citrusy scent. It's just a a brightness that the grapefruit brings, if that makes sense. So in here, oh my gosh, this smells so amazing. And it smells amazing on my husband. It mixes with his body chemistry. Perfect. It's, this is like made for him. I, I am just crazy in love with this fragrance. <laughs> This is, to me, it has a little bit of a sweetness. It actually doesn't have that extreme brightness that grapefruit usually brings. It's, it's a very relaxed fragrance. It's not in your face. It's a very, it, 
it carries its own weight, don't get me wrong, it's not extremely subtle, but it's not in your face. It's a very, if I was to describe a person, a very cool, laid back person that commands the room, but isn't in your face. It's just kind of a natural charm. That's what this reminds me of. The fig is just so prevalent in it, and, but it's not like a, a sickly sweet fig. It's just a, a very mellow, very, very cool mellow. And it mixes, it's definitely got the marine notes. So it's just very relaxed. Um, I love clean fragrances. And that's why the Aquatic Peony is one of my favorites. And this is, this one was inspired by Aqua Di Gio. And I love that, I love it so much. But this is just, it does have the marine notes. It's still that very clean scent, but very, it's got like some sort of intoxicating magnetism to it. It just smells so good. And definitely, like I said, it is unisex. So I could actually see myself wearing this too. It's a little bit more feminine or leans towards a little bit more feminine when you first spray it on. And then as it dries down, which is logical, the base notes uh, are clary sage and amber wood. Those really are prevalent. This is actually, now that I think of it, very much true to the order, the top, middle, and base notes in the dry down. I, I would definitely buy this one again for my husband. So I'm just gonna start myself my own little collection <laughs> because I, I love this brand so much. I would not be telling you guys if I didn't love it. Um, and if I don't like something, I'll tell you. So definitely, so far, everything that I've gotten from them, I'm highly impressed with the quality uh, that it, it sticks with you all day. The silage of it, um, the quality of it, the bottles are so uniform looking. And I never thought that I, that would be something that I would pay attention to, but they're just so uniform looking and very heavy glass bottles. I, yeah, I, I'm extremely excited to get the other ones in the mail and I will definitely show them to you and give you my opinion on them. So if you guys have tried any of the Dossier fragrances and just absolutely love any of them, let me know. I, I personally love either really clean fragrances or really sweet fragrances. I, I just, that's just kind of what I lean towards. Anyway, I had to show you guys because I am absolutely in love with this brand and had to show you. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.